Good morning students this is your faculty Neha today we will be starting with the second chapter of economics and the name of the chapter is meaning and types of economy so in this class we will learn about the meaning and the types of economics and the different economic systems and identify their merits and demerits as well as the feature of indian economic structure students as you know in the previous chapter we learned the meaning of economics in before we get into the lesson i just want to briefly explain you the meaning of economy once again just in case if you have forgotten h a brown defines economy as a system by which people get a living we can also describe an economy as a framework of economic institutions where all the economic activities are carried out to improve individual and social welfare there are certain features in the economics which i will be reading now students now i will be reading out the six features of the economy the first one is economy consists of individual economic institutions government and their interactions second one is economic is a dynamic entity which is continuously changing okay it's never the same it will be changing and fluctuating economic institutions are continuously created destroyed replaced or changed for example planning commission was set up to plan for social economic development of india in 1950 but it was replaced by niti aayog in 2050 similarly communism was adopted by russians in 1970 but was replaced by capitalism in 18 sorry in 1989 earlier barter system was followed but today money plays a main role in economic transactions now you can see over here right nothing is same it's been changing from time to time the third feature is production consumption and investment these are the very crucial crucial activities of economy depending on the types of economy in developing and developed countries economic activities keep on changing okay our needs and the wants of the country changes right by as the time passes all the needs are also changing either it's of us or the government or or the economy the fifth one is individuals are both producers and consumers the sixth one is modern economic system is complex and there are many institution to regulate the activities of the individual thus we have institutions like rbi sebi world bank imf wto sarc that is s a a r c ab adb and many more the that govern the activities of individual as well as the countries the full form of rbi is reserve bank of india the full form of sebi that is sebi is security and exchange board of india the full form of imf is international monetary fund the full form of wto is world trade organization the full form of sarc is south asian association for regional cooperation the full form of adb is asian development bank so students there are three types of economics first one is capitalist second one is socialist third one is mixed economy let us understand the meaning features merits demerits of these economics in brief capitalist economic system in capitalist economic system it means the production are owned by the individuals and are free to use them 
in any way that benefits them. The important features of capitalist economy are as follows. The first one is private property. What does it mean now? Students, an individual is free to own, acquire and buy any property according to his or her wish. Since this property is used for one's own benefit, the incentive to, to acquire the acquire and accumulate wealth is very strong. The second feature is freedom to enterprise. It means in a capitalist economy, the individual are free to choose any occupations. Business firms are free to acquire resources and use them in the production of any goods and services. And as well as if they want, they are free to sell their products in the market of their choice for earning the highest possible price or you can say highest possible profit. The third feature is consumer's sovereignty. It is said that the consumer is the king in the capitalist economy. They are free to spend their income on goods and services which give them maximum satisfaction. In a capitalist system, production is guided by the consumer's choice. Whatever the people like, the company will produce those products first. The fourth feature is profit motive. Fifth feature is competition, market and prices. It means since everybody is free to pursue occupation of their choice for earning profits, there is an intense competition in the capitalist system. The market forces of demand and supply free operate to determine the price. The sixth feature is absence of the government interference. Now, the second type of economy is socialist economy. When productive resources are owned and controlled by the government to promote the overall interest of the society, then it is called socialist society. In this system, a central planning agency plans and regulates various economic activities in, in the interest of all. The socialist of economy has the following features. The first one is collective ownership of means of production and wealth. It means in a socialist economy, the government owns and means of production on behalf of the people. All wealth is collectively owned. The second feature is social welfare objective. It means the government acts on behalf of all the people to minimize their welfare. Government decide about the types and the levels of output and distribution for the same. Keeping in, in the view of the broader social welfare of the people. The third feature is central planning. All economic decisions regarding production, consumption and investment are made by the government keeping in mind the present and the future needs. The fourth feature is reduction in inequalities. Non-existence of private property and accumulation reduces economy inequality in a socialist economy. The fifth feature is no class conflict. All are co-workers in socialist society and there is only the working class. Hence, there is no conflict. Mixed economy. A mixed economy combines the good features of both capital, capitalism and socialism. It has a combination of elements of both free enterprise or capitalist economy as well as a government controlled socialist economy. It is defined as an economic system where the public and the private sector coexist together. The features of mixed economy are as follows. The first one is 
coexistence of public and private sector. Second one is individual freedom. Third one is economic planning. Fourth one is price mechanism. Now let's learn about the types of economics on the basis of level of development. On the basis of level of development, economics can be classified into two categories. The first one is developed economy. The second one is developing economy. Developed economy has or you can say have higher national and per capita income high savings and investment therefore high rate of capital formation because a developed country will have a de developed economy they will be good in everything okay they will have a high rate of capital in, in capital formation they have they have highly trained human resource better civic facilities good health and sanitization facilities as well as they have low birth rate, low death rate. In short, you can say people in developed countries have higher standard of living. Now, what's happened in developing economy? You can say developing countries are low on the ladder of development. They are also called as underdeveloped, backward or poor, poor countries. The national and the per capita income in these countries is low. They have backward agriculture and industrial sectors with low saving, investment and capital formation. They have low standard of living, poor health and sanitization. They don't have any proper sanitization facilities, high infant death rate high birth and death rates as well and poor infrastructure. India as a mixed economy. India is a classic example of mixed economy with both public and private sector operating with the planning and regulatory framework of the government. The need to achieve higher and faster development and ensuring better living standard to all the classes of people compelled in India. India to adopt a mixed economy system soon after independence. The important features of Indian mixed economy system are coexistence of the public and the private sectors. It means industrial policies of 1948 and 1956 formulated by Indian government made the provision for co coexistence of public and private sector with a larger role for public sector. Second one is plan development. It means Five-year plans were prepared within the framework of directive principle of the state policies to rebuild economy and lay foundation of industrial and scientific progress. The board objective of Indian plans are economic growth, modernization, self-reliance, social justice, elimination of poverty, creation of of conditions of near full employment and satisfaction of basic needs like food, clothing, shelter, education, health and many more. The third feature of mixed economic system is role of public sector. The public sector has played an important role in the development of Indian economy. It has promptly contributed to development of infrastructure, establishment of basic and heavy industries, despair industries in several backward regions and promoting trading and marketing activities including international trade. The fourth feature of mixed economic system is private sector. It not only includes industry but agriculture, small industry, 
trade and great deal of activity in housing and constructions activity as well it provides employment to three fourth of our manpower please remember this private sectors provide three fourth of employment to the manpower many policies and laws have been enacted to control the private sector the fifth feature of mixed economy system is coordination between public and private sector it means both the public and the private sectors have worked together for achieving the goals set by the planning commission however today the role of public sector is coming down and more space is provided to the private sectors that's all from this lesson thank you very much for paying attention students before logging off don't forget to mention your names in the comment section below